World of Warcraft's new Battle Royale mode, Plunderstorm, released this week, and it's very different to traditional WoW. So whether you want to win more matches or just secure as much plunder as possible, then this guide should help, help keep you alive, help level up faster, and ultimately get those cool transmogs and mounts as fast as possible. So the first big tip is about landing, and it's one you might already know. So when you're looking to land, try and land on an elite enemy. Crashing your griffin down on an elite enemy at the start of the game instantly defeats them. So you get a big chunk of experience and you get an ability. So this is the fastest early game advantage you can get. If you're landing fast in an area with lots of people, this will help you survive. Number two, although Blizzard buffed the plunder earned from PvP in a hotfix yesterday, I still believe not fighting other players is the fastest way to level up and earn plunder. If you can secure a quick kill, you can get a chunk of plunder and all their items, which is which is great. However, lots of enemies will either run away when they're low or run away completely because they just don't want to fight. And this can make the fights last very long. You can be chasing them for a long time across the map. And if you spend a few minutes chasing someone, this can be a really bad impact for your game because not only do you miss out on all the experience you would have got just PvEing and fighting mobs, but you will be a lower level than everyone who's just been grinding mobs. So yeah, be careful on that. And if someone starts running and the fight seems like it's going to take a long time, it might be best to just let them go. Okay, on to number three, look for the special chests. And these are the big glowing uh, green, purple, and blue chests. These give higher level spells. So if you find a purple chest, you will get a super overpowered spell. And you can loot this at the very start of the game. They don't just spawn in later on. They're there from the start. I've been defeated like one minute into a game before by a player with a purple spell. It is a massive advantage. It is a huge, huge damage in the early game. And if you land near a chest, I just beeline straight to it and open it and get that power up early. Next up is focus on leveling as a priority. Leveling up gives you an increase to health and an increase to damage. So your main goal should always be leveling up. This isn't like other battle royales like Fortnite where you where you can really benefit from just sitting in a bush or like just sitting camping on a hill. This is really based on how much you level. So I'd suggest finding an AOE ability early like the star or the firewall or the firewall or the big mana orb because you can round up big groups of enemies, AOE them down and get tons of plunder early and you'll level really, really fast. Because just like in WoW, being a higher level gives you a massive advantage in PvP. Next up, let's talk about utility. Utility can win you fights. There are some crazy overpowered utility items and using them both keeps you alive and wins you games. The barrel can save your life. I've, I've got away from so many fights with the barrel. You get away, you heal or you get away and you turn and you launch a big spell. It is, it is an amazing item. There are items like you can drop a bunch of chickens that will go after a player and really like turn the tide of a fight. There's big AOEs. You can deploy a bike to get away that you and a friend can get on. You can deploy a boat that can protect you from the storm so you can use that to like move around the map. So make sure to loot those supply boxes, get familiar with the different utility items and always have a decent supply item ready for certain situations. Next up, let's talk about the abilities because they are not balanced. <laughs> there are some spells that are crazy powerful and overpowered. So I would really recommend taking them when you find them. One of the main ones here is Fire World. This absolutely wrecks. It has movement, damage, AOE, and is useful in pretty much every single situation. Another really good one is Storm Archon. I find that really good as it gives you multiple big attacks and you can direct them around between like you use one, then you move, use another one. That's really powerful. The Mana Orb is pretty good in duos and for farming. That's really nice as well. On the defensive side, Steel Traps is insane. It just CCs everyone around you. And if someone rushes you with like Fire Whirl, you'll just trap them and stun them. Same goes for Windstorm, but you have to aim that one. So you turn, aim it, and it just shuts them down. Repel's pretty good for the same thing. If you're looking for defensives, those three will make you pretty defensive. They're obviously, you know, play what you enjoy, make the builds you enjoy. But in my experience, those abilities are really strong. And just be mindful that there is a meta and there is, you know, overpowered abilities. The next tip is if you want to avoid PvP. If you want to play this as a PvE plunder gathering game and you don't want to fight, then let's talk about it. You can gather certain skills that make you not worth fighting. If you have lots of movement and, you es and lots of escape abilities, with how plunder and levels work, it's not worth chasing you. There, if there is no kill count, there's no fancy leaderboard, there's no there's no reason to farm 10, 10 kills in a fight. So you can just take abilities like Fade to Shadow to blink away from people. You can take Fae Form to get away and have big damage reduction. You can take offensive abilities like Slicing Winds, Charge It Up, and you just dart away from someone. So yeah, if you just want to be a really hard target, you can make a build that just makes you not worth fighting. You, you, I've, I've fought people and I've had like the chain, I've had really good... Um, really good chase abilities and they've still managed to get away from me they've faded away they've they've got low and barreled and i've just not had the the pressure to keep following and it's not worth keep following so yeah if you want to play that way you really can and lastly 
if you just don't like this game mode, <laughs> if you just don't enjoy Plunderstorm and you just want to gather as much plunder as possible for the rewards, you want to get your mount, you want to get your transmog and you want to spend as little time as possible in this game, let's talk about it. The daily quest is around 800 plunder a day. So at the bare minimum, log in and play one game a day. You don't even have to win it. Just go in, play the game, die, get, get out. That's probably the fastest, least impact way to do it. And then there's two other big boosts they give you. There's the, 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 there's the match quest. So there's the captain's quest which is 250 plunder for completing it. And it's normally like go go kill 10 mobs or go loot two chests. Go in, get that done, and that's a good good boost. And then you get 500 plunder for winning the game. Therefore, the fastest way is probably just to load in, grab a bunch of chests, grab as much plunder, defeat a bunch of mobs, complete your captain's quest, and die to a mob and get out of there. Load back in and get your captain's quest done again. Because winning just isn't the most optimal way to earn plunder. I enjoy the game. I enjoy the PvP. I enjoy earning the plunder and like seeing how much I can get in a match. So for me, I find it quite fun, but it's it's not great knowing that you're not playing optimally. Someone who just goes in, does the quest, dies, reloads, is going to get a lot more plunder than you. And that, that's just how it is. So if you want to play that way, that's the best way to do it. They've already hotfixed this once, literally a, the day after the release of you get more now per, per per win of a PvP fight and you get more for winning the game. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's another hotfix in the future, giving more of a bonus to keep the matches going longer. But um, for now, that's the best way to do it. But yeah, that's it for this this Plunderstorm, this Plunderstorm guide. Some tips to, you know, to, to, to level up fast, win some fights, avoid some fights if you'd rather, and just get as much plunder as possible. I think this game mode is nothing but a positive thing that Blizzard have put out. I, if you enjoy it, it's a free game mode included with your sub. And if you don't, you're not really missing out on anything. We're in a lull right now while we wait for season four, as always. And this is a nice, fun gap filler. I also think they could work on this, improve it and release it as seasons in all of the other down periods we're going to get in the future because it's just really fun and, you know, more content is never a bad thing. But that's it. Didn't think we'd be getting a WoW Fortnite this year, but it's it's surprisingly fun. I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments. But that's it from me. Take care. Enjoy Plunderstorm and I'll catch you on the next one.